guys, welcome back. Fearless Dojo here on our next episode of Control. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, we just got to this part of the game. We're supposed to investigate the X ray light box object of power. This game is full of these objects of powers. Alright, let's see which way we need to go. Looks like we need to go that over there. Map, this game is confusing, and I think it's on purpose. I'm gonna just fight my way up here, though. This might not even be the right way, you know. Research hypnosis lab. Marshall, can you hear me? Yes. I can hear you. Who is this? My name is Jesse Faden. I'm coming to help. Faden? Hold on. I'm setting the elevator for you. We need to talk. You got that right. I just accidentally discovered that that was there. Thank you, thank you. I have access to this room. I uh, <clears throat> made the recordings a little smoother. I figured out some settings and stuff, so hopefully the recordings are smoother. Welcome to the party, ma'am. Marshall is right down the hall. Yes, but we'll try down this hall. It's a dead body in here, guys. Don't worry about it. Rubber ducks supplement. Discovered in the home of the agent, after his young daughter complained of being followed by her rubber duck, according to the agent, the matter was ignored, believed to be a result of a child's imagination, until he began to hear the quacking at night. After discovering the item hiding in his daughter's closet, he brought it to the bureau for study. Update. It was discovered that agent was bringing known paranatural materials into his home, illegally taking them outside the oldest house. How this may have affected the creation of an altered item is being investigated. Agent has been terminated. You? Oh. Marshall's eager to speak with you, ma'am. She's so eager. Home. Could not be more eager. Luck and probability. There you are. I was starting to worry. Congratulations on your appointment, Director Faden. I'm Helen Marshall, head of Bureau Operations. Sakurai is dead then, and I assume you found his gun. Just call me Jesse. Trench told me to find you. He said you could help. And he told you this through the hotline. Makes sense. None of this phases her? Really? <laughs> Here's the situation. Darling created the HRAs in a lab nearby. We need more if we're gonna survive this attack. 
My rangers can't secure the lab alone, not against those things. We need more firepower. At least she seems to know what's going on here. Bad thing she's she wearing is an HRA. About Dylan. I can clear out the hiss. I'll be your firepower. That's a good answer. Is she testing me? Darling has systems in place to protect his labs. This should help you get past them. We'll talk more after you clear out the hiss. Rangers, let her through. We'll have to lock the door behind you. Sorry, but we can't risk a breach. Can't risk it, huh? All these charts. As if you can find anything in this place. <laughs> Darling, okay. Sure found enough places that, to hide. That's a thing Everyone's right there. Do I have any points or anything I can buy back here before I journey on to another fight? Don't look like it. Okay. Has anyone heard from Salvador? Last anyone heard, he was taking a security team into containment. The reason is currently unknown. Oh, for real? I see rangers over there. We have to help them. Can't see. Ritual division. Got it. Guys heal the whole time. Where's it at? Failed those guys. Oh, okay.
Music's not bad though, guys. Music is getting me going a little bit here. guys would have survived that dude anyway. Just people. See if I can find a box. This way to the lab? Okay. You must like these HRAs. Sounds like Darling built them. And most of the things around here. If Marshall can't help us with Dylan, he's our next best bet. Assuming he's not dead. Or taken over by the hiss. Unclassified. Go in there. Hey, Jerry Lab. Here. Any idea how to make it work? Hello again, Director. It okay. appears we have a new problem. We need to get the HRA machine working. I've replaced a couple of spark plugs, but. This looks a bit more complicated. Darling must have had a system. Randomness isn't in his nature. The punch cards, the symbols, the terminals. How do they connect? I'll see what I can do. Uh, 
black rock prisms are unique formations of black rock distinct in both their shape and potency. While the density of black rock dampens paranatural forces, wow, the unique structure of prisms retains frequencies in the range to whatever, whatever. Alright. That doesn't help me with anything at all. So, we need to find all the punch cards. Okay, I mean, they're fine. What about up here? Missing one. Each punch card should correspond to a terminal. Is there one out here too? Or something? Alright. Punch card. Stuff. I'm not gonna do that yet. That sounds stupid. Ah, <laughs> huh. just sitting here on the table. No big deal. Alright, so number two, too powerful for our use. These whiteboard drawings may be important. Sure they are, but I don't really know. Okay. Changing variables. Which one is it? I'll put the diamond one or the. I'm gonna put this one here first. And this one gets the whole middle. It looks like he was working on something to do with these symbols. Machine number four is upstairs. It's all filled in. Door machine number five. And I don't know what you... What do the symbols mean? Last, last symbol, I guess. Let's see. So I want to put switch these two out. Okay. 
a genius. No need to no need to tell me. The old school gun she's got. The prism shattered. Darling's prototypes have a lot of issues. We need a new plan. Okay. We need more black rock prisms to make this machine work. Darling has another lab down in the Black Rock Processing Site and Maintenance. That must be where he keeps the prisms. I've been to maintenance already. I can find my way. But how long will that take? Nothing here is simple. I need to ask her now, before I go. I need something from you first. What do you know about Dylan Faden? I knew this was coming. Lives are at stake here. And we need this machine working to save those lives. Oh, don't you avoid Once that question. Down, Director Faden, then we can talk. She's right. As much as I don't want to admit it, mm. I'm the only one who can help. Fine. I'll get the prisms first. Dylan will have to wait just a little longer. But don't call me Director. Jesse is fine. I'll call you Faden. Here, you'll need this key card. Thanks. There's level four. Set up a base and executive. Once I have the prism, I'll meet you there. Right. I'll move out immediately. And keep an eye out for Darling. Finding him might be the key to stopping the hiss. It's just one large scale HRA. It's there now. We are about to be exposed to a different kind of resonance. Hostile, viral, invasive resonance. I think that's, that's what the Hedron resonance amplifiers are for. Taking the protection Hedron can provide us and keeping us from being wiped out. I'm going now. That's yeah, different. Here, this will lead back to central research. Another mission, though. Search for black rock processing. Uh, investigate X-ray light box object power. I want to do this. Where's that at? All the way up there. Can't tell if it's up or down, left or right.
crap. Wouldn't let me dodge, it was out of energy. Struct Pierce. It's like a sniper weapon, I think. Intrusive <sighs> pattern. Get this because it doesn't take up any more. Energy recovery speed. Invade. It's 11% evade energy costs. So I can deconstruct this one. 11%. It's 12%. So I can deconstruct this one. 12%. I'll need one. 11% evade cost. 11% evade cost. I'll need one of those. 11%. Health plus 17%. Health recovery per element picked up. That's so good. How do I get another one of these? Then spin damage plus 15%. Ooh. Yes, please. That's way better. Projectile. Uh, 
My wife's holding up signs so I can read them while I'm recording. Isn't that nice of her not want to interrupt my recordings? Uh, let's see. So the shatter projects tiles fired plus two. Is that as good as like more damage or negative recoil, reload speed? Exclusive to shed projectile spread, negative 11%. Rate of fire, plus 12%. Ammo cost per shot, negative 8%. Obviously, I'm going to at least upgrade it to that. And then dump this one. But I might even try the, um... Pierce out. Just to give it a, you know, the old 1-2. Uh, damage plus 15%, damage while aiming plus 27%, uh, wow. Exclusive to grip, pierce, spin, energy gain from headshots 11%, rate of fire plus 12%, reload speed. So we're gonna do this, cause that just seems really good. Pretty cool. Alright. We're trying to get to wherever that is, so we'll just keep going this way, see what we can find out. Hmm. Gnosis Lab. So we're going in the correct direction. Oh, okay. Gosh, what is this room? Pretty intense room. Kind of awesome, though, really. I think there's actually a, a box back here. Yep, there's a box. Is that the hypnosis lab over there? Ha <laughs> ha uh. I see it. Another object of power? They're just standing there. Mesmerized by it. Okay. 
Okay. I don't know what the symbol is. <clears throat> I need to find the code. seem to be the code. Guys, I'll save you. No need to move. Please state your name for the record. Paul Warren, Astromark, first boss. And you are aware that exposure to the astral plane can flow with death. Is he going to mind power or something? That's my first guess. Use C's to complete the Astro Plane Challenge. I don't know what that means. Cold enemies are immune to Jesse's attacks. Find another way to defeat them. I don't know what... I mean, the Lohar can be seized. Not for very long. Looks like they hurt her. Then. Go get him. Yeah, yeah, get, get the gold guy. Nice job, team. Dead. Brains were fried when I took over the object. Oh. That's sad.
Got him. Some of you were curious why I had these sensory deprivation tanks installed. I thought they, I thought I'd shed some light on the subject. Maybe some of you had heard of it. Dr. Yoshimi Tokui, the man behind a huge, hugely popular guided imagery experience tapes. Apparently this tape goes beyond the normal meditative qualities of such things, but create, to create genuine hallucinatory visions in some listeners or other reports say. Fair enough. Dr. Tokui, a Japanese citizen residing in Tokyo, has produced a series of guided imagery experience audio recordings that have gained notable popularity around the globe due to his unusually swift rise in fame. Along with reports of Vivid accompanying the use of his tapes, investigation sector staff were asked to look into him. We found no past incident with an altered occurrence, nor any evidence of involvement with an altered organization. However, agents that attended a signing event reported something when hearing Dr. speak. Fair enough. Fair enough. Sometimes you gotta check every nook and cranny, you know? Ooh. Ooh, what is that? Coiled negative nineteen percent. Like that I guess. Trying to get back to my control point. It's farther back than I remember. Uh, ooh, what is this? What is this? What is this? There's more powers to unlock. Uh, plus five percent to seize duration. These large enemies when their health is low. That's pretty cool. Even though they're always the last ones I kill. Hmm. Ooh, I can get an additional personal mod too. How do I get an additional... I need a bunch of ritual impulses. Wonder where I get those at. I'm gonna get this. And sure. Five percent. Sound like a lot, but that's what we're getting. Uh, where do I need to go to get ritual impulse maintenance? Where I'm going? Let's go to maintenance. The place we've never been to before, I guess. Mark. 
Marshall knows something about Dylan. Is he here? Is he all right? HRAs first. They'll help save everyone, including Dylan. Once I find him. Can you keep him safe? Like you do with me? Hmm. Alright guys, that's where we're going to end this episode. Uh, I like the game. We're getting more powers. It, it gives you just enough powers at just the right speed to keep things interesting and fresh. So, yeah, I think there's much more to come. Uh, yeah, so let's end this episode and pick it up on the next one. Fearless Dojo out.